Did a local Commonwealth's attorney use his public office and power to help a defendant in exchange for nude pictures and videos? Those allegations were first reported today by the Louisville Courier Journal. LEX 18's Lee Searcy obtained the messages in question and has details in tonight's LEX 18 Investigates. These are the 230 pages of messages we obtained that center around Ronnie Goldie, the Commonwealth's attorney for Montgomery, Menifee, Bath, and Rowan counties. Louisville attorney Thomas Clay says a retired police expert on phone communications verified the screenshots of Facebook messages between Goldie and a woman that Goldie allegedly helped in criminal cases in exchange for nude pictures and videos she took of herself. One of them from June 2018 indicates the two texted about the woman's warrants. Goldie allegedly saying, you owe me big time. Why she responds. The judge is about to withdraw some warrants. Yes, she says. In another conversation, she asks if Goldie can continue her court date so she wouldn't get an arrest warrant. He allegedly replies, I'm still waiting on those videos, remember? I can see what I can do. So what was happening here, according to these screenshots, was that in return for her providing photographs and videos that Mr. Goldie was exercising his power as an elected Commonwealth's attorney to provide favorable treatment for her. Clay believes the messages show the two traded favors on and off for several years. Charges were amended. She was placed on probation. She was given conditionally discharged uh, sentences. So what connection does Clay have to all this? He represents former Bath County Circuit Court Judge Beth Mays in an upcoming criminal trial in a case involving how she handled her ex-husband's arrest in 2017. Clay says Goldie initiated the special prosecution and is now listed as the state's witness in her trial. He says the woman's boyfriend turned over all the messages after he found them on her phone. We certainly are interested in anything that might call into question his credibility. And Clay tells us he's given all the messages to the FBI. We've reached out to them to confirm but have not heard back. We've also tried repeatedly today to reach Goldie or his attorney for comment. But so far, no one has gotten back to us. Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.